Hi, I'm Paul Brown. And I'm Amy Ladd, and we invite you into the world of the 2,000-year-old mummy. We were posed with a mystery to solve about a 2,000-year-old mummy from the Rosicrucian Museum. Is this child a boy or a girl, and how old? How did the child die, and more importantly, how did he or she live? In the past, mummies were taken apart, the linens were unwrapped. This can be harmful to the mummy. Uh, this is what Howard Carter did with King Tut. X-rays are useful, but they only tell part of the story. Our research group with our imaging techniques here at Stanford allow us to do a virtual slicing through the mummy, microscopically even, and this allows us to determine what is skin, what is bone, what is other parts of the body, as well as the wrappings themselves. This becomes a virtual autopsy. In order to solve the mystery, we compile a team of about 50 or so experts to image and virtually reconstruct the mummy. The skull shows waves of hair which could only be a girl in the Egypt of 2,000 years ago. In the jaw, we found baby and permanent teeth, showing a child of about four or five years old. Traveling through the skeleton, we found open ends around joints called growth plates, also in a child. With all the bones healthy and normal, no evidence of trauma was found. So the child likely died of a rapidly developing infectious disease. This mummy is the best image mummy in the world. It's a hundred times better than King Tut. And more importantly, this is really a window on the medicine of tomorrow. Today's research scanners and software are really tomorrow's routine imaging and treatment as well as diagnosis. The type of movies you see here will be the way we navigate, take apart, and reconstruct your root canal or your knee injury. The doctors of tomorrow will be able to visualize and incorporate your images in your medical treatment.